When I was 21 What's up guys, Kooks46 here, bringing you another MLB The Show 17 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we're going to be debuting one of the most exclusive cards in MLB The Show to the team. This is a difficult card to collect because it requires a lot of other cards to get. You can't just go on the market and snag this guy from the Royals. You can't just go to the ticket counter and drop your tickets on him. You have to collect every single player in the American League and lock them into your collection in order to get this guy. And once you complete the 15 American League teams, you complete the three American League divisions, you are finally rewarded with 99 overall George Brett. 1985 postseason card. Just, I mean, look at these numbers. 97-96 contact, 96-85 power, 97 vision. 97 vision with this guy 97 discipline 95 clutch 79 durability 77 74 fielding and arm strength you know the arm strength's not crazy over there at third base but you know he's not horrible he'll get the job done 58 speed with for a third baseman is actually pretty good so overall this guy is a stud if i go over to my diamond dynasty stats i've actually never used this card never in battle royale nothing like that this will be my first attempt with 99 overall George Brett. There really hasn't been any other changes to the team. We put Jose Altuve at second base for this game instead of Corey Seager. But I'm more excited about the fact that this is another 99 overall third baseman that's a lefty. The only other one I have is Eddie Matthews. And having a lefty in the order really helps. You know, if I have a righty, if I decide to start Donaldson or if I decide to start uh, David Wright or even Miggy, whatever the case may be, that means that I would have to put a lefty over at second base, which would most likely result in Corey Seager. And I'm actually getting a lot better with Altuve. So that kind of, you know, just having a lefty makes my life so much easier over there because it just completely balances out my entire team. So guys, what we're going to do is jump into a ranked seasons game. We're going to give George Brett his debut. He will be batting cleanup. And I really hope that today we can find our true starting third baseman. Let's jump into a game and see how it goes. All right, let's go, boys. We're taking on the Louisville Kingsmen. We're facing the 99 Chris Sale. I actually think I did good the one time I faced this guy. Does kind of suck. That means we got to face a lefty with George Brett, but he still hits lefties incredibly well. Looking at this guy's team, he's got a solid squad. That 96 Longoria, I'm definitely not a fan of, though. Let's take a look at his record. 11-5 so far in season infinity, and we will be playing, of course, at the Classic Fenway Park. This guy's PSN name is very um, aggressive. If I do say so myself. Dude, just watch Chris Sale's delivery right here. Look at his release point. Tell me how much this is gonna suck. His release point is literally right where the fans are. This is gonna be so difficult for me to pick up the ball. This is some cheese. It's a slow roller. Tim Coogs has a chance to beat that. 99 speed, he's there. Let's go, man. Tim Coogs cheesed out that hit. That's another slow roller. <laughs> we haven't hit anything hard yet. Everything is just going to be slow rollers, but it basically is a bunt. Mike Trout, that ball is in the outfield. We might be able to get to third out of this. Nah, we'll stay. We'll stay. George Brett's coming up. We don't want to get thrown out at third when he has a chance to come up with a runner in scoring position. So here we go, man. George Brett, first at bat, 97 vision. It does kind of suck that we do have to face a lefty, but you can't really control that. Come on, baby. Chris Sale. Oh, fastball. Oh, first at bat, we're getting a jammed late hit. Very, very suspect result right there, but it's MLB 17. Not really how I wanted the first hit with George Brett to go. I was really looking for like a major friggin' home run to center field with that guy, but hey, man, a hit is a hit. Dawson, that's going to be a shallow fly ball. Oh, man. This is going to be so difficult. That release point from Chris Sale in the day in Fenway is just absolutely frustrating. Obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Ah, too far in the gap for Bell trying to make a play. Maybe I could have got it if I dove with Altuve, but I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think I was going to get that. There we go. Turn it at two. And that's the end of the inning. Rollins and Altuve, that middle infield combo. All right, come on. Got to try to get something at the plate. Got to stop using this Chris Sale spot as a as an excuse. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go. We actually got a hit, and he misplayed it. We're going to get two out of that. Wow. Stay at second. Stay at second. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that we just got a hit. We brought it up the middle. It was a very, very slow hit ball, only 88 miles per hour off the bat. 
But still, I'll take anything right now. 3-1 count, George Brett on deck. I kind of want to take right here just for the opportunity to give George Brett two guys on. But I had to swing at that. I cannot let that pitch go. 80 speed. We're going to come home and score. And we actually got a run, bro. That blows my mind. We actually are able to hit right now. Oh, my God. And now, George Brett. Come on, George. Come on, George. Nah. It was a decent pitch to swing at. Like, I'm not mad that I swung at that pitch, but... <sighs> I guess I didn't get my PCI low enough. I don't know. thought I squirted it up okay. Guess not. On to the next. Oh, baby! It's off the pole! Low and outside breaking pitch. Carlos Beltran takes it the other way and barely sneaks it inside the pesky pole, or not even inside, on the pesky pole for a home run. Oh my god, talk about a friggin' lucky swing right there. I'll take it, 2-0. Any runs I can get off this right now, I will be happy with. Altuve is a GOAT. Let's go, Jose. Oh my god, hanging slider. Did not miss it. This is good. That means he'll start warming up the pen. That means that we can get Chris Sale out of here as fast as we can. Although we're, I'm starting to actually see the ball a little bit better. I don't know if a, a fan or two over there changed their shirt to black and not white, but <laughs> it's working out better than I really thought it would be. There it is. George Brett make a throw across the diamond right here. Nice, strong throw. We got out of a first and second. Nobody out jam. Very, very good job. Sneak through. No! That is just an amazing play. I think that's his creative player out there. That is just an unbelievable snag. I, I cannot believe that I just got thrown out with Carlos Beltran going on the line on that. <sighs> Jimmy Rollins has a chance to still beat this over to first base. No, he doesn't. Okay, so his creative player is a catcher. Who does he have at shortstop that made that play? Who is that? Is that Correa or something? Like, I can't. It's not Brandon Phillips. Brandon Phillips is at second. And he just hit Altuve. These, this is, this, these are fighting words right here. He just hit Vita Blue. <laughs> That's what you get, bro. Yes, he's going to Cody Allen. Thank goodness I can actually see the ball. It's a righty. Yes. All right. Two outs. Bases loaded for Tim Coogs. Here we go. Let's see. Good changeup. Tim Coogs, get off the wall. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. No. Oh, why does Fenway got to be so deep? Oh, man. That one stings. We killed that pitch, too. Well, he's having a good amount of success here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Okay. So the curveball to Joey Votto is not the move. Just like that, it is a uh, a one-run game. This is what I'm saying. I, I figured that this guy at some point would start to piece it together, but I didn't expect it to be on one swing like that. Mike Trout, come on. Dude, where, why is that not hit way harder than that? Why is that not hit way harder? 99 miles per hour on that? Come on, game. That's a good timing swing. Mike Trout has the first pitch quirk. Wait, what more do I got to do? Why is that ball hit? Not, it's not even hit 100 miles an hour? Come on, bro. Oh, all right. Well, at least we got George Brett at the plate now. Two guys or two outs, nobody on base. I'd really like to see a dinger right here from you. Nope, that's not it. Oh, God. Now I'm all friggin' rattled from that trout result. Come on, George Brett. That's and low. There you go. 2-2 two, two count. Don't ball. swing at anything we don't need to. He's only thrown me one strike in this at bat, really. And it was one that I was very late on. So here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Inside. I had to fight that off, and it looks like it might fall. Yes. All right. Good job, George Brett. Second hit of the day. Swung way too early on that. George Brett's not going to come around to score. And we got to go to another inning. That pitch was not supposed to go that part of the plate. Just like that, the game is tied. Carlos Gomez solo shot in the seventh. Get up. Jimmy Rollins. 99 speed running down first base. And he made that throw. Jimmy Rollins is a god. Oh, my lord. There we go. Starting off the top of the eighth with a four-pitch walk from Rich Gossage. 
Or Raleigh Fingers, I'm sorry, not Rich Gossage. That is ball four to Jimmy Rollins. Back-to-back -back walks from Raleigh Fingers to start off the eighth. Charlie Blackman to pinch hit right here with one out. Please, Blackman, do not hit into a double play. I'm going to be so frustrated if we get out of this inning without getting a run. That's what I like to see. No double plays, only three run dingers. That's the only way we play out here. Let's go. Charlie Blackman puts us ahead by three. All right, Beltron at the plate with a runner on first here. Nobody out in the bottom of the eighth. Ah, that's probably going to score. That got out. Why does it start the ball <laughs> halfway up the monster if it's just going to go out, man? Don't just give me that fake hope right there, game. Can't you just tell me it's going to get out? I'll just accept it way sooner. I don't have to freaking hope that it's going to fall off. Inside sinker, and he takes it the other way. Why can't I hold a lead, man? I have a three-run lead twice in this game, and he comes back both times. Why, why is it so hard for me to hold leads lately? Thank you. Let's go, Dawson. Gave us a fastball over the middle on a 3-1 count. That is not sneaking by us. There you go. That ball is carrying. <laughs> Let's go, man. Back to back jacks. Like I wanna get I wanna get hyped. I wanna get excited. But this guy has scored the last three innings. So I don't even know what to feel right now. I don't know if I should feel like I'm in a good spot or if I'm just still on the ropes. Um Boys. I don't know what's Uh the game's Really? That's how this is going to end? My internet is still up. I really hope I don't get the loss for this. Nuts win in nine innings. Well, that's kind of an anticlimactic way to end that game, but okay. Oh, well, guys, George Brett did get two hits. I think he went two for five or two for, f no, yeah, two for five. So I just got to get a little bit more, like, opportunities where I'm actually comfortable with him. Like, facing Chris Sale in the day in Boston was not very, like, you know, it wasn't very hitters friendly. So if I can face him, you know, like, Bayfront in, like, my normal setting and I can actually, like, use him straight up like I would normally use him, I think I'm actually really going to like his card. And he'll probably be my starting third baseman from here on out. But, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video regardless of the little ending right there. Thank you for watching. Drop a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.